Hello everyone. Today we are going to see about word clouds. Word clouds are charts that display the count of a particular object in your whole set of data. Though word clouds are designed to be used to count the occurrence of words in an essay or a speech, they can also be leveraged to show something like how my product uh, trend based on the sales, etc. Say for example, I uh, what is the which of the products that have had the highest sales? Let they can be shown as bigger and the products with lower sales can be shown as uh, smaller ones. In this video though, we will be showing how to create a word cloud using Tableau for a Twitter trending hashtag. Let's go ahead and start creating the chart. Okay, uh, this is my data source. The data source is coming from Twitter. So we have taken the data from Twitter. Uh, you can check the above uh, link to see how to get the uh, data from Twitter. So the hashtag that we have used here is becoming. So becoming is like a book by Michelle Obama and she's also come out with a documentary in Netflix. So let's see what Twitter is talking about that. The next is the stop words. So these are the commonly used words which we need to ignore from our data set. So uh, this you can just get a search for it and download it from online. So it's there available on GitHub and many other places. So I have used the uh, stop words here so this is another data source that we need okay so now i've gone to tableau and i'm going to open the text file which we just saw so if you see all the uh, all the data comes in one particular column now we need to split it into multiple columns based on each word so the idea is this so i need my word and i also need the count of my words this is what i need to achieve to get my uh, to get the word cloud you can do it externally in Excel sheet and then bring it like that for each word. What is the com? You can do it that way in Excel. You can uh, do it in Python and say like this many number of words and this is my com. You can do it that way as well. But now in this video, we are going to see how to do it completely in Tableau. So the moment I do that, I also go into my uh, text file properties and I'm going to give the field separator as a space and uh, the text qualifier as none. So the moment I do that, I get each of my words there by the space, it has uh, separated into multiple uh, columns. Now I'm going to take the whole set. So I'm going to do a first column and the last column and I'm going to say shift. So that will uh, select my all my columns. So all my columns are uh, selected here and then I'm going to do a pivot. So the moment I do pivot, what happens is it gives exactly the same thing. So it brings all my data into a particular column. So all my words are brought in into a particular column. Now what I need to do is I need to do a sum of, I mean, I do need to do a count of the words. Okay, so this is my first thing that you need to do. But I do see that a lot of things like, um, like the, I mean, a lot of punctuation marks at the end, at the beginning and things like that, which we will need to see how we can uh, clean it. See, this is uh, because it's at a tableau level, we are not going to a very high level end of cleaning the data, but we just clean out some basic stuff and then we will see how we can make sure that these data are not getting uh, displayed on the report. Let's go into the sheet. So first I will create a calculated field. So I go ahead and create a calculated field and I called it as the word. So this is basically I'm doing a simple uh, cleaning so i've already done the calculation i'm just going to show what i'm done here so i this is what i'm going to have done here so if the values the pivot field values like a semicolon if it contains a semicolon then i'm going to replace the semicolon with just nothing so same way i'm doing for a uh, simple things like a comma a, for a period and a hash but uh, i'm not going to do for everything and i'm also changing everything to a lower case so because in some places we will see the words in um, um, a title case and an upper case and a lower case so the count would not be matching so we're just going to see the lower case of all the words we're just going to change it to the lower case for all the words so this is a basic a simple calculation that we are doing like for cleaning the data so the next thing is i'm going to move the words into my text field here and then i'm also going to take the count of so the moment i do it i get all the words there um, now I'm going to do the count of words. I'm going to move it into my color. So since we already have this measure, I'm just going to say, I'm just moving it into color. It gives me a sum. So I'm just going to say it is a count. 
and then I'm also going to do the count of words into my size so I get a different size for different words depending upon the count. So this is a heat map, but yeah, heat map is also a very good uh, chart. Use, but now we are, let's go back to the word cloud. Uh, the next thing that we will be doing here is like we will have to uh, take away the stop words like a lot of stop words are there so we uh, we'll have to go ahead and remove those stop words so if you remember we had one more uh, data source called as stop words let's go and call that data source here so i'm going to say new data source and text file and then i'm going to take pick up this uh, stop words here so this is my uh, file here and uh, since it has a different name let's rename it into word so Tableau can understand that these two are like uh, there's a data blending up going to occur. So the moment I do it, we will get uh, uh, the data blending here. Because there's a lot of words, it's taking time to compute right now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to re uh, take the stop words and I'm going to put it in the filter. And I'm going to say exclude all exclude all the stop words because when it is null here it means there's some other word there so we just have to re uh, remove that null value alone this still gives me a lot of words and i'm not really interested in all the words being shown here i really can't make any sense out of it so let's say like my word count is greater than a particular number then I want to say, for example, if the same word is used like uh, 50 times or 20 times or 30 times, that means, yeah, that word really made sense. So I want to add that word. So let's go add, add and do that one here. So I'm going to add the filter for the words. And I'm going to give a condition by the field, but the number of records of count is uh, greater than, say, first let's say 20 or something like that. So now I get what are all the words that I would really want here. And if there are certain things that uh, you think are like common words, but they have not been in known, you can easily just go ahead and click and say exclude those words. So those words would be excluded from the list. So this is a, a simple word out. You can go ahead and do some more modifications, like you can go ahead and uh, uh, do the formatting, and then you will get the word out. Since uh, we have taken the data from Twitter, it's natural that there are some words which are like uh, very common or some words which have been used in different ways. Like uh, it can be becoming, it can be hash becoming, it can be becoming within quotes and things like that. So it's very difficult to go ahead and uh, remove everything at like uh, do it at a stop words. You can just go here and exclude for some of the things if, it, if you think that these words really don't make sense and uh, it's just like you just have like 25 to 50 words here now so it's not going to be difficult to go and exclude those words and then uh, what we can do is a uh, simple formatting that we can do here is just edit the colors so let me say sunrise sunset diverging and let me do a step color and maybe i can give an end of 500 something like that so this will give me a uh, first kind of word cloud here. And uh, as I said, we can go and remove some of the basic things which we feel that it's not required. And uh, we can even go ahead and uh, color the background and things like that, remove, uh, change the header and uh, what's Something like that, just give like a very good title. And we are all set. You can go ahead and explore the all your um, explore on the formatting mode. So this is a simple formatting I had done. Uh, I just changed the background and I just gave a better uh, title and things like that. So you can go ahead and explore what uh, suits for you.
I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, let's meet in the next video. Thank you so much.